Hello, I'm Melanie Johnson, Director of Nursing Midwifery and Allied Health Professionals. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I just want to say a few words about our launch of the Shared Governance Collective Leadership Programme across the Trust. We've been lucky enough to be one of only 14 trusts nationally to be selected to take part in this programme that's been sponsored by Ruth May, the Chief Nursing Officer for England. The Collaborative Leadership Programme aims to help us as nurses improve the care that we give to patients and improve the way that we work. To do this, staff, in particular nurses, who deliver hands-on care to our patients in whatever setting across acute and community services need to be able to influence the way that that care is organised and delivered. I know that we all have challenges in our daily work, especially at the moment, but I truly believe that nurses working in the front line are best placed to identify and deliver changes which can improve the care that we give. I'm asking you to help us deliver meaningful, evidence-based change to make things better for our patients and their families. Some of these changes might be very small. It's often the small things that matter most to patients and their families. Some of the changes might be big projects that develop and get rolled out across the Trust and beyond. Whatever it is, it's about making things better for our patients and families and for us as staff who work in the Trust. We also need to think about our own ways of working, how we can make it easier to do the right thing, how we can make things better for ourselves so we can deliver the care that we want to deliver for our patients and improve our own working lives in terms of our time at work and out of work and think about our own health and well-being. A lack of staff is often seen as a barrier to making change. But at the moment, we have more registered nurses and healthcare assistants working in our trust than ever before. I know it doesn't feel like that because of the impact of COVID-19. But as next year progresses, as the vaccine rolls out and the pandemic comes under greater control, I know that we will feel the difference in terms of the numbers of staff in our nursing workforce and we will have much more capacity to deliver change. We need to be ready for that time, so you need to be thinking now and planning projects, starting small, trying things out and being ready to make things move forward at a more rapid pace when we're able to do so. The Collaborative Leadership Programme is part of a path towards accreditation by the American Nurses Association. This is an internationally recognised way of accrediting nursing practice. This focuses on six core standards. Shared decision making, which is a framework for nursing discussion and decision making at the point of care. Safety, quality, professional development, leadership and well-being. In the coming weeks, we'll be circulating a survey to seek your views on how we're doing from a nursing perspective on a wide range of areas, and also to collect your views on where we need to improve. I know you're really busy, but it's really important that we collect this information from you and I'd be really grateful if you took the time to complete the survey. By engaging with the Shared Governance Collective Leadership Programme, I really believe we can make significant improvements for our patients and their families and ourselves. Through these improvements, we can create a positive practice environment where the care we deliver is truly outstanding where you as a nurse in this organisation feel supported and listened to, where you feel able to influence the care that we provide and how we provide it, and where you as an individual can develop and flourish in your role, and where we all as nurses can be proud to work at South Tyneside and Sunderland NHS Foundation Trust. This programme is led by the Chief Nursing Officer for England. It is focused on nurses and nursing. But I'm really keen that we would involve any of our staff in the programme who wants to see meaningful change for the care that we deliver to patients. So if you're interested, whoever you are, whatever you do, please let us know. Please join in at ward and department level, in the shared decision making councils, or email me directly with your ideas and suggestions about how we can move forward. 
This really is an exciting opportunity for us to develop and build on the excellent care that we give to make it truly outstanding. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you're interested and I really look forward to seeing how this develops over the next year.